you might be wondering what this is. Well, this is um, Toyota Prius Gen 3 inverter. This is something that spurred me on to do an AV conversion. I've looked at a number of uh, various sites and uh, found that uh, basically AV conversion parts are not cheap. So if you just get an inverter, a motor, a DC to DC converter, you're looking at um, up to like 12 to 20 thousand pounds. So why did I choose this one? Well, one of the first things is actually quite cheap. So this one I purchased for 100 pounds. So um, what's so special about this one? It's um, Toyota Prius actually has two motors effectively in its gearbox. So one is uh, called MG1 and another one is called MG2. Toyota hybrid system. We have an engine, MG1, MG2 and the power split device. At lower speeds the motor generator 2, MG2, drives the wheels. This motor is more powerful one and has estimated power of 60 kilowatt, which is about 80 brake horsepower. MG1, the generator, uses the engine rotation to generate electricity and charge the battery. At the same time the motor generator 1, MG1, is used as a starter. I estimate that MG1 could produce up to 30 kilowatt of power if used as a motor. Power split device is coupled to the engine. Power split device divides the energy output from the engine between generating electricity and driving the wheels. I am planning to weld the planet gear in the power split device so this should allow to transfer torque from both MG1 and MG2 to the wheels. So what I'm planning to do with it, I am planning to swap the board, which is the main processor board, with a design that is done by Damien Maguire. Now Damien developed open source uh, board that allows you to control the inverter. Johannes Hubner developed the software. What also is quite um, special about this one is it actually has a DC to DC converter and it has a bug boost uh, module that you can uh, possibly use as a charger. So effectively we may get in instead of one component we're going to get an um, inverter to drive the motor, we can get um, DC to DC converter and buck boost. Let's talk about main EV components. So we'll start from the motor. So the motor could be AC or DC motor. In my case the decision is made for me because I'm going for Toyota Prius gearbox. So this will have AC switch reluctance motor with magnets. Uh, next option is inverter and of course inverter we will be using a Toyota Prius inverter. DC to DC converter um, it's also uh, part of the Toyota Prius inverter so that uh, will be taken care of. A charger so charger it's, um, it's a difficult question uh, potentially uh, I may be able to use a charger from again from Toyota Prius inverter but I'm not 100% sure basically whether it will work or not and this is something I need to consider uh, various options. Um, so perhaps I will look at um, AV companies, uh, AV conversion companies that's selling um, components for AV conversion. Uh, BMS or battery management system. Again this is the um, kind of unknown factor for me um, very famous uh, BMS that everyone else is using is Orion BMS um, and um, it's, it's sold in UK by uh, Zero EV and this is something else I will have to look into. Battery. As for battery I think I'll be looking at uh, second-hand batteries um, that are available uh, for sale on eBay so it could either be um, uh, all Tesla batteries or perhaps um, some of the BMW uh, hybrid batteries. Uh, on this picture we have LG Chem batteries so that also sold by Zero EV and this is also one other options that I may be considering. A vacuum pump. 
Again, I need to investigate this option. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. Um, and other uh, bits and pieces such as contactors, cables. And, and again, you know, I probably will be looking on eBay to get contactors and um, uh, perhaps some of the EV conversion companies such as Zero EV to get the cables. So, uh, basically to summarize, the components I already have uh, would be part of the Prius inverter is um, uh, perhaps a charger, uh, the inverter itself and DC to DC converter. So I'm going to start from trying to get these components to work and um, then decide um, when I can get um, a Toyota Prius gearbox which will give me a motor and um, start working on making the motor spin. So um, yeah, basically what I'm planning to do is, is to change the board, investigate how it works and um, then get a um, Toyota Prius uh, gearbox.